we get a lot of questions about the recommended hanging heights with LEDs. First of all, above all, whatever, regardless of what LED light you buy, follow the manufacturer's recommendations because each LED is a very specific angle at a very specific height and the manufacturer has designed that to cover a certain area at a certain height. So above all, check the manufacturer's recommendations. In general, you have a lot of wider spread out LEDs, uh, this kind of spider design. These can go very close to the plants, but the light is less intense and much more spread out. They lose their power very quickly as you go higher. Other lights that are direct HPS replacements tend to be more powerful and more focused angle. These you have to have a higher headroom. So in general, if your light has a fixed power level, in other words, they're not dimmable, your only way to change the light intensity at the plant level is to raise or lower the lights. In general, you'll get le much less intensity at the higher hanging heights. And if you've ever heard the inverse square law, if you, if you go up by three feet, you actually get nine times less light. So it's, the, it's a square factor. So you lose power very quickly as you go up. So for a fixed spectrum light with non-dimmable, you use height to adjust the light level. If the light is dimmable, you can leave the light, like our California Lightworks solar system, you can leave the light in the same position. You can actually dim with the controller, depending on how much light intensity you have. So talking specifically about California Lightworks, first of all, the solar system series, it's a very narrow angle. It's designed to replace an HPS light, designed to hang higher than most LEDs, because you have that very small angle and very high power. So in general, our recommended height is around 36 inches. This will give you our designated coverage area. If you get much closer, especially if you get less than 24 inches, you may get some light burning on the plants and you'll notice it right away because the, the, in the center of the leaves will bleach out white. If you're doing the solar extreme, this is a fixed spectrum light and it's not dimmable. So the hanging height is quite important, but it's a wider angle so you can get much closer. You can get what 12 to 24 inches, depending on the intensity level you can, you're looking for. Once again, if you have a tent with reflective walls, almost with any light, you can go higher because you're not going to lose light up the side, so the light will bounce. So you're, not, you're always better if you can go a bit higher with reflective walls. That way the light's coming from more angles, you'll get more even penetration into the canopy. So in general, reflective walls, it's good to go higher. Let the bounce give you even spectrum. If you're just without any reflective walls, very important to dial in that spectrum to get as close as you can without burning the plants. So if you're working without dimming, you need to raise and lower the lights during different phases of growth. Obviously you want, the higher you go, the lower the intensity of the light. So you want to go higher in propagation, get a little closer in veg, and then as close as possible without burning the plants in flower. So with the solar system, we recommend if you're in propagation or early veg, probably around 48 inches is a good height. Then when you go to early veg, you can get down between 36 to 48 inches. Uh, normal veg, 36 inches is a pretty good height. Then finally, when you're in pre-flower, you can lower from 24 to 36 inches. Then in flower, as close as 24 inches, but you wanna be careful to avoid burning in the center. So you might have to just watch how the plants react. Now with the solar extreme, it's a bit different. The angle's wider, you can get closer. So in, in propagation, uh, we recommend from 24 to 36 inches, so you're, you're a bit closer. Then early veg from 24 to 36 inches, veg from 24 to 36 inches, pre-flower around 24 inches. Then when you finally get to flower, you can go as close as 18 to 24 inches. Once again, pay attention to how your plants react, that you want even coverage without getting burny in the middle. Uh, so that's our general indication on hanging heights. There's a lot more information on our website and our YouTube channel. Feel free to send us an email or contact us. We're always happy to give you further information.